All right, here we go. It is Street Fighter V Top 8 action here at SoCal Regionals. I'm James Chen. What's up? I'm Ultra David. It's been a sick weekend, all right? We started yeah. with almost 400 people, and many of the best in the world were here. People here from East Asia, people here from North America, people here from the Dominican Republic, uh, all over the place. We right. had a really fantastic set of players who were here. Every pool had multiple people who could have made it out. Right, and the top, and the, even just when we got to top 32 down to 8 yeah. earlier today was some of the most ridiculous matches that we've seen in a while. Yeah, I think we're, we're, we really are seeing evolutions in how the game is played. Mm -hmm. Decisions that people make, which styles work now, which styles don't work now, how people have to change their games. I really feel like that's becoming a big part of it now. There's that adaptation. For a few months, it felt like it wasn't changing a lot, and now it's changing a lot. Yeah, but we've got uh, a, a great match coming up right away. First up, first up, I think people have been waiting long enough for these matches, so let's let's just jump into it. We're going to go on the winner's side. We are going to have EGK Brad going up against UDL MJS Haitani. K Brad, one of three American players still left in the top eight. Haitani, one of three Japanese players still here in the top eight. In winner's side, Haitani versus K Brad, that's now. Then after that, Mago versus Shaohai, who just won KOF. In loser's side, PR Balrog versus Knuckle Dew and Nuki against XYZZY. That's right, and K-Brad earlier today in the top 32 was playing like a man possessed. I have never seen, I haven't seen K-Brad yet in Street Fighter V play to that level. Let's see if he can maintain it here right now. He's going up against one of Japan's best. In fact, when Street Fighter V first came out, he was considered actually Japan's best. Yeah, well, he's been pretty consistent about making top eights this whole time. But K-Brad, the way he played earlier, when he beat Justin, he was so clean. The footsies were so strong. The Play was so patient, and that's the kind of style he aspires to. I'm so happy for him that he finally seems to have turned the corner in doing that in tournament, not just in casuals. Right. But Haitani, of course, just one of the most fundamentally solid players. And look at this. You can see Haitani right now out footsing K-Brad, getting the cross up. Yeah, that range was so strong for him. Okay, the stun. Not only was he controlling with Stan Roundhouse, but that's the range where, as you can see, he gets cross up if the opponent's not paying fully attention, and after having seen those roundhouses, I think k Brad was looking for the ground game, not for the jump. All right, so really great round for Haitani to start. And here we go. So once again, k Brad just opting for the damage after the Ooh. EX dive kick juggle. He didn't go for the link there, just didn't believe in it. Didn't see it, maybe. Ooh. A little late. Slowly trying to move his opponent backwards. Yeah. Oh, beautiful whiff punish, and that's that standing roundhouse that was causing K-Brad some problems. So to see him whiff punish that is a good sign for K-Brad. Haitani's okay. gonna activate V-Trigger. Very dangerous now. Oh, he confirmed it! Good okay. defense from Haitani, just blocking, but finally got caught. And that was a lot of gray life taken out at the same time. The grab, I'm surprised. K-Brad had been doing meaty so consistently. Oh, wow! Baits out the uppercut. K-Brad gonna take round two. Haitani, well, Nikali is going to go for a ride, but here we go, last round in here in game one. Okay, he's going to get him again once again. Yeah, k Brad doesn't go up for the stand light punch into dash under, cross under mix-ups. He just likes to get the damage off of the fierce. An almost stun. Kami, of course, low stun, 900 stun, oh! and there it is. And he has all that meter, got the stun off of a throw, pretty much guaranteed going to be able to finish him off, and Haitani is going to take game one. Yeah, looking good. He controlled at the ranges that he needed to for a lot of that time. But that second round, I think, is encouraging for K-Brad at the same time. The way that he won that was... Uh, that's how he wants to play. Right. He wants to play that style. That's the round that he has to focus on right now. Remember what happened in that round. Remember what he did and try to replicate that. Oh, there's that whip punish that we saw him do against Justin like three or four times. Yeah, his footsies were immaculate against Justin. They have been this whole week. No, no answer. answer. Not even a back medium punch, which is pretty easy to react with. Way to build himself some space from the wall, but no, right back into it. And the... Pretty big risk. Crouching jab again. It's happened a couple times. Oh, now, lovely. Shimmy. Yeah, he's got him there. And you saw after the EX dive kick, Haitani just did the jump back OS tech. You know, he was like, I don't want to deal with this mix up. So that's something that uh, K Brad's going to have to look out for because jump back OS tech can very easily be chased down by a Kami uppercut. 
K-Brad's really trying to dance outside of that stand around house range. See him here. Threatening with dive kick at the same time. Yeah, well, I mean, he walked into it like three times in that first game, so Haitani got his success. He's established that he has the dominance <laughs> at that range, but here we go, K-Brad getting in. No confirm. Still pressuring well. A lot of great damage taken off just now. Wow, wake up crouching light kick. That's not a throw tech. He's just right, waking up with a crouching light kick. Okay, Haitani taking control, gets the corner for himself. And not threatening too hard, really quite a patient play, even still in V-Trigger. Well, the nice thing about it is it's not going to run out anytime soon. You got <laughs> nice. It. Good. I like that decision from K-Brad to use the V-Reversal to get out of the corner. Going for some throw mix-ups. And he's not dissuaded by those wake-up dragon punches we've seen. Oh, he tried to juggle in Haitani with no quick way. Hey, Beautiful use of the V skill, the bait out, the uppercut. All right, so K-Brad now twice taking round two. The Haitani has always managed to take the third round. So Haitani yeah, will have yeah, no he's problem. he's one out of one so far. Yeah. <laughs> he's have no problem repeating that pattern. Well, we're seeing a little bit of different movement out of Haitani. He's not just staying away. There's some dashes in there now. Yeah, again. So maybe a little bit of an adaptation to how K Brad was starting to take control. Yeah, taking a little page out of that Punko book there is K Brad. Using that V reversal to get out of the corner as much as possible. Yeah, look at this mobility. All of a sudden in there. Oh, too far. far. That's unfortunate. Now oh, nice back medium punch reaction to catch Haitani out of the air. But Haitani, right now. I mean, they're both pretty even in life, so... I love this range that K-Brad has been fighting. Oh, oh boy! Oh, a bad confirm, and that's going to give Kaitani some good damage. Yeah, and a lot of super meter. Now next hit can kill. Oh, oh that's he it! he got over! No! He was going for reset? I'm not sure, but he's still going to manage to be able to get the juggle. There we go. Close to death. Oh, but that, that's going to do it! If the he drop! Can, he no! might lose here! Oh, that is going to be it! K-Brad went with... The uppercut that instead missed of twice. back medium punch. It missed or, twice. Or standing fierce, and you can see, yeah, K Brad is not pleased with that because he snuck oh, that he, EX dive he, kick in there. He had the round, but the uppercut went the wrong way. The reaction says everything. Ooh. <laughs> he hasn't moved from our replay. Uh, he's reaction. still there. Yeah, that's a live still shot. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. He did play it well. I mean, that yeah. was. A, Obvious mistake, but right. other than that, I like the spacing a lot. I also like, though, I like Haitani starting to move around a lot more. That's mm -hmm. going to be more difficult now for K Brad to nail down exactly where his opponent's going to be. Did we go to character select? I think so. Yep. But probably just giving himself some time. I really doubt K Brad's going to use any other character. Yeah. And he's not going to change colors because that's the best color. Might have to ask Keats for some help in identifying that problem that you just uh, <laughs> you just brought up right there. It's red. Red's the color you're looking no, for. No, no, sorry. All right, K. Brad, hand on his chin, thinking about it a little bit. It's not like he was so off in strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. There were he he missed a confirm that put himself in a bad position. He missed a couple juggles in the corner. I mean, other than that. And it's interesting, he too. Have, he could be a 1-1 right now. Because oh, af the, after the first miss, remember Haitani didn't quick rise, yes. but he did it the second time. So if that first miss hadn't happened... Yeah. yeah. Haitani putting up the wall. Great reaction. All right. Getting in there. Yep. Going to confirm in the crouch light punch drill. No confirm off of that crouching medium. Yeah, kick. he wants to, and oftentimes he does get it, but it's hard to be 100%. Right. In there. Oh, Missed no. on the meaty. Yeah. That is a problem. And here we go. Throw loop time. But manages to get out of there. Try to go in for the crouching medium punch to fake the throw. Oh, here's the confirm. That's what he wanted. And now again, we have K Brad at life lead. And he does go in still. Wow. I think that was probably Haitani looking for stand around. I was just in to activate something like that. Right. But it didn't, didn't work. Yep. First time now, K Brad's wow. taking round one. But again, like you said, there really wasn't much for him to ponder because he was playing just fine. Yeah. It's really just about settling himself down. There's the confirm he wants. Haitani caught. All right. Good just defense from Haitani. Needs to get out of the corner now. Yeah, exactly. He, ha he has. Oh, the whip punish was there. Haitani. Still there in the corner. There it oh, is, finally! Oh. He hasn't been afraid to bring it out. This time, it works out for K-Brad. Is that going to be the K 
game, not quite. Not quite, trying to do as much damage as he Again. can. Oh, did he purposely mistime that standing medium punch to make it early so he could block? I don't know, and now I'm wondering whether the stand short that he that I thought was a mistime meaty earlier, maybe it was uh, <laughs> intentionally done before. All right, good stuff there. So Haitani with two dragon punches towards the end. I'm not sure how much you can learn from that in terms of going into the next game. That was right at the very end there. I just, I don't know. But he, of course, his play style is not to be afraid of doing wake up uppercut. It's always something to keep in mind. Oh, no uppercut. I could have swore that he was going to have that reaction there. Because, you know, if you're going to block, might as well uppercut a lot of the times. Ooh, okay. Confirmed it because he saw that Haitani hit a button. Oh, didn't confirm that one. Too far away, too far away. He needed to do the crouching medium kick instead. Haitani choosing to build V-meter. Getting close to it now. Nice. Haitani on defense. Now he's got to deal with Kami right in his face. Oh, yes. Crouch medium kick sneaks in. Yep, and now he has the life lead. He's going to keep going with this pressure now. And with sitting with two bars. Keep in mind the mobility he's brought out occasionally. For the most part, he's been a wall. He's not been terribly mobile, but he, he can bring that out any time. Yeah, he got caught low, and he's going to get hit again on wake up. Was he touching buttons? Not sure what happened, but he's going to eat that, and K-Brad is going to take that round. He wants to play comeback. Actively. Yeah. In terms of his wake up. I mean, that's one of the things Haitani is really known for, is that wake up jab into V-Trigger. His character in general. Yeah. All right, back into the corner now, nice. oh, but that gets the crush counter. And now he gets the command throw. K-Brad, knowing the meaty situation there, was kind of a free escape. He backs off, back to this neutral game. Yeah, and we have the corner again for K-Brad. Missed the whiff punish, yeah. but I mean, I, in terms of strategy, I think he's doing great right now. Haitani had managed to take him, get himself out of the corner all the way to the other side, but then accidentally jumped into the corner. And K-Brad now pushing him right back to that corner that he started from. But here we go, command throw once again. Going to get the juggle. K-Brad now going to activate some V-Trigger. Great blocks from Haitani. Look, Look at that great life. Defense. That great life's building. Yeah, Haitani needed to get away. He found the little tip. Good now he damage. can pressure. Command grabs have come a couple of times. What great block. block. No punish. And, but he got the counter hit. And you know oh, what? too Ooh. late. One, that could have been it, James. Yeah, but he, one more hit can combo into the cup. Nice, oh, that nice. critical art. But a nice poke from Haitani is going to catch him. So here we go. Last round here. This is match point now for Haitani. Again, I don't feel like K-Brad's really been making very many mistakes. It was just a couple of small things. No anti-air again. Small but consequential. Missed Ooh, on the dive. Yeah, missed dive. And now Haitani moving forward more. It's not just backwards. All right, here comes, yeah, K-Brad. Actually, we haven't seen him use that standing light kick, yeah. which has been such a powerful tool for Kami recently. Ooh, was again the miss. That was dive kick for sure. Maybe a little bit of nerves from K-Brad. There's a lot of gray life on K-Brad's side, too. At least he gets out. Nice. Confirm was there. And now he gets the pressure. Not for long. Both of them trying to bait throws. Again. That's yeah. three times. Will there be a Dragon Punch? Will there be anything out of Nikali? Well, he uses the V-Reversal just to get himself out of there. And, of course, having Nikali... Oh, oh big punish time. Mistake of his own and saving the V-Trigger. Nikali, every time this, Nikali the uses... Oh, no, no the drop! Be punished. Wow, too late! But he's going to get the throw. And one more hit could do it. Yeah, V-Trigger Nikali now gets that mobility right up close. Three grabs in a row. What's coming next? The oh, drop. Oh, he misses the dive kick uh, again. Again? Now that super's on deck. That's very reactive. Trigger's there also for Kami. And he doesn't want to do any ground pounds because he can react to that with Absolutely. super. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just going to... He's content to do that. At the same time, on k Brad's side, you got to worry about the... Super from Nikali. Anything can sneak in. Oh, Ooh, it's gone. He goes for the throw afterwards. Wow. That was quite a distance. Nikali wins. So K Brad sent to losers. Haitani moves into winner's finals. K Brad's side, you know what? A lot of that was played really well. Yep. There were some mm -hmm. very significant drops. Yeah. I, I don't feel like he did anything particularly wrong, but it was just he started missing Execution. those dive kicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah towards that, the that's, end. That's really, that's really what it was.